Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're going to be taking you through the brand new iComfort lineup from Serta. Uh, this has been totally overhauled here uh, for 2020. You're going to even see these hit stores maybe in late 2019. Uh, and they've got a host of new cooling features. They've got some new feels and a brand new look. So we're excited to show it to you. Stick around. So in total, there are six models in the new iComfort lineup, and they start at $11.99 in a queen size and go up to $21.99 in a queen size. And both of those prices would be mattress only prices. Um, and they are similar to both each other in their construction, as well as in some ways to the previous generation of iComforts, insofar as they share that kind of memory foam over foam construction, broadly speaking. But there is one signature feature that they all have in common in this new line that is, that is actually something brand new uh, from the previous generation as well, which is the use of a carbon fiber memory foam. Um, so carbon fiber is a conductor um, and it is uh, sort, of, sort of in the same family as graphite, uh, but it is a, a very effective conductor. And of course, as you may recall from other videos we, you've watched of ours, that uh, uh, conductors as part of a mattress are effective in so far as the, they create a better ability for heat to travel away from your body through the mattress more efficiently. So they create that cooling experience. Um, so. The use of carbon fiber in these mattresses is actually what gives them their model names. They, they are each named CF and followed by a number. That CF stands for carbon fiber. So the entry level model is the CF 1000 and the top of the line there's a choice of feel uh, at the CF 4000. So to demonstrate the conductive properties of this material we were just talking about, this carbon fiber material, sort of came up with a pretty cool demo that I think is worth showing you here. Um, and first of all, this is that carbon fiber memory foam. And what you'll notice right off the bat is that it does, of course, uh, perform just like you would expect a memory foam to perform in terms of that slow responsiveness that memory foam is known for. Um, but what you have here, this is just a standard light bulb that you could buy off of Amazon, uh, not some special thing for this demo. Uh, and below here you have a carbon fiber, like a mesh carbon fiber kind of um, thing. And basically it is uh, more, obviously way more carbon fiber than you'd find in this memory foam but it is the same material. And so what we're just gonna do is use that to demonstrate the conductive properties of this material. And I should also add, I think it's worth noting that uh, you'll start to see more and more of carbon incorporated into mattresses, uh, carbon or graphite. Um, typically when they do that, it's in the form of like carbon dusts, if you will. Um, and this, they made a point of noting to, uh, to us that this is actually fibers. Um, so you can imagine that uh, to the extent that you're using fibers, that would allow heat to travel more effectively through the material uh, than with dust. So uh, I thought that was worth, worth noting here. But anyways, with this light bulb, what's gonna happen here is that the way a light bulb works is as long as there's something conductive to complete the circuit between this end piece and this uh, threaded part, uh, it will light up. And so you can see here um, that as I press this down into that mesh net, that mesh net basically connects that circuit by touching both the bottom part and the thread. And the, and the light bulb indeed lights up. Um, now this is a rechargeable light bulb, so I'm not sure if that uh, matters at all in terms of like whether you could replicate this demo without a rechargeable light bulb but I do know this is absolutely a standard light bulb um, I can see the brand on it and everything so um, kind of a neat demo certainly does illustrate that uh, something that we already knew which is that that uh, carbon is a very conductive material so stepping back just a little bit, we wanted to give you uh, a broader sense of some of the memory foams that are being used in this iComfort lineup. And we did touch upon one of them just now, this carbon fiber memory foam. And that is the one that is used in every single one of these new iComfort mattresses. Uh, and that, by the way, is totally new to the iComfort lineup. Now this second foam here, this gel active max memory foam is certainly the one that is most reminiscent of what you would have likely seen in the previous generation of the iComfort line. Uh, uh, it's, it's a gel infused memory foam. And of course, uh, you may recall that uh, gel like carbon fiber is a conductor. So it's serving that same purpose of helping the heat travel more efficiently through the foam away from your body. Uh, now the, the next one is what they call ultra cool. Uh, and that's basically this carbon fiber memory foam, but with a layer of phase change material applied 
to the surface of it. And if you've watched other stuff we've done, uh, you may know that phase change material works by basically being tiny microscopic beads of wax uh, that when you uh, lay on the mattress or touch it, uh, they basically can melt. That wax inside those beads can melt, turning from a solid into a liquid. And when that happens, it's essentially pulling heat away from your body and that's creating a cooling sensation. And it is a palpable cooling sensation. I can put my fingers on it and, and feel it feels cooler than a foam that does not have that phase change material on it. So that's, that's the ultra cool memory foam. Then you've got this air support foam and this air support foam is quite unusual, quite unique. We've not seen a foam really look like this before. It's, it is memory foam. Um, it's got that delayed responsiveness uh, characteristic, but it's cut in such a way that it's uh, almost like coils. It's, it's squares, but they've, they're rounded uh, off at the corners to create little circles where the squares meet each other and then hollowed out in the middle, which creates really big uh, uh, circles in the center of them. And that's kind of overall creates a, a coil-like feel to it. And um, so there's obviously an airflow story to it. They are uh, used mostly right above the foam core. So they're usually five inches, let's say, or at least three to four inches down into the mattress uh, before you get to them. But certainly you're gonna have an airflow story uh, as, it, as it relates to this layer of a mattress because there's a lot of room for air to come up and down through that, uh, through that layer. But uh, in addition, the company thinks that this is, uh, this is something that can really help uh, in a unique ways to provide pressure relief, which is of course usually the principal function that memory foam is trying to achieve. So, um, so that's really what this air support foam is about. And then beyond these four, there are actually a few other types of memory foam used in these mattresses. So really um, above the foam core in these new eye comforts, you're pretty much looking at uh, only memory foams at this point. Um, uh, with one with one exception in one model of one layer uh, but uh, all of these are going to have a pretty similar support core too it's going to be a 1.8 pound density uh, foam core seven or eight inches depending on which model you're talking about but so the differences really are going to come principally from the different types of and, and combinations of memory foam used on top of that to, to give you different feels. And we're gonna take you through each of these to give you a sense of those feels, as well as kind of uh, help you think about which ones might be best for you. So now here we are on the entry level model in this new iComfort lineup. It's called the CF1000. And this is a 10 inch mattress that is going to have a price of about $1199 in a queen size, and that's mattress only, I'll be quoting uh, the prices in this video. And these are also, by the way, MAP prices, which stands for minimum advertised price. And basically what that means is that uh, you should see this product for the same price at any retailer, or at least not below that price. Um, and that would be, I guess, notwithstanding any possibly nationwide discounts that Serta may have from time to time. So in terms of the feel of this mattress, as we mentioned, uh, every mattress in this lineup contains that carbon fiber memory foam. So uh, you're gonna find that right up at the top of this mattress and that's gonna give it a little bit of that slow responding memory feel. Um, and then in terms of the softness, we would actually classify this as a medium firm on our softness spectrum, um, which is just to the firmer side of medium. Um, and then we would say though that this has, I guess, especially for a memory foam mattress, but even relative to the overall mattress population, a little bit shallower than average cushioning. That's on account of the fact that this is uh, uh, amongst the other iComfort mattresses, a little bit lower profile, thinner profile. So you're not gonna sink into this mattress uh, as much as you will some of the other ones as we go on in the line. So now we've moved up to the second model in this new iComfort lineup, the CF2000. And this is gonna have a map price of $14.99 in a queen size. And for that, you're gonna get a little bit of a thicker mattress here. And it's also going to introduce the second of those memory foams that we showed you earlier, that Gel Active Max memory foam. And uh, we, we should also explain that Serta has introduced some new iconography into their iComfort line. Uh, and those icons are snowflakes. And so on that first model that we showed you, the CF1000, they give that model one snowflake, which is uh, symbolic of the carbon fiber memory foam that you find in that line and the cooling features of that carbon fiber memory foam. 
uh, in this CF2000, you will see two snowflakes on the end of those mattresses, which is uh, to symbolize the addition of uh, the Gel Active Max memory foam and its cooling features. Once you get beyond the CF2000 into the 3000 and 4000 models, you will then see three snowflakes on each of those mattresses to symbolize the addition of further cooling features into those mattresses that we'll talk about when we get to those. Uh, in terms of the feel of this mattress, the CF2000, we would still classify this as a medium firm. Again, just to the firmer side of medium. Uh, but we probably would say this is within that classification, just a smidge softer than that CF1000 and, and certainly has more cushioning depth than the CF1000. So it's gonna have a little bit more conformance, a little bit more of that hugged or cradled sensation than you're gonna get on the CF1000, which, which I would say has a little more of a floating on top of your mattress type of sensation. Um, so this probably would start to become a better match for side sleepers uh, or people who are curvier. So now we've moved up to the 3000 level and this is going to be $17.99 in a queen size and you're actually gonna have your choice of two different feels at this level. What they call a medium and what they call a plush. But before we get into kind of how we would characterize those feels, uh, I also mentioned that you're gonna get a third snowflake at this level and that's meant to symbolize a third cooling feature. Uh, but you're also gonna be swapping out cooling feature number two at this level. Instead of that Gel Active Max gel memory foam that we showed you in the 2000, you're going to have the second cooling feature is going to be the addition of that phase change material to the top of that carbon fiber memory foam. So uh, that carbon fiber memory foam, once again, is the, right up on the top of the mattress. So that phase change material is right below the cover and helps give this mattress more of a coolness to the touch. Uh, but the third cooling feature is actually the cover itself, which contains polyethylene fibers. Polyethylene being uh, a material that has some intrinsic cooling properties to it. So uh, it's not uh, achieved through phase change material or the application of anything to it. It's actually in uh, the yarn itself, essentially. Um, so in terms of the feel of this mattress, I would actually classify this mattress, which uh, would be the CF3000 Medium, as probably the firmest uh, mattress in this new iComfort collection, in my view. Um, we would maybe still put it in medium firm, but probably would classify it as an actual firm, but towards the softest end of that firm classification, probably. Uh, but certainly, as you've moved up here, you've, you've moved now from uh, an 11 inch profile to a 12 inch profile uh, at this level. And that's afforded a little bit more of these memory foams on top of this mattress. So notwithstanding the additional firmness, there's also a little bit more cushioning depth than you got in the, um, in the 2000. Now moving over to the, uh, the 3000 plush, this definitely is uh, quite a bit softer than, than this one. I would probably classify this one as a medium on our softness scale. Uh, and certainly by virtue of the fact that it has a little bit more softness, uh, you also can, you also sink a little bit deeper into it. You get a little bit more uh, uh, conformance from the, the, the 3000 plush. So now we've moved up to the CF 4000 level, which is the top of the line in this new iComfort collection. And this is gonna be $21.99, map price in a queen size. And the profiles now are gonna be 13 and a half inches. And once again, you're gonna have your choice of feel. At this level, they, they give you the choice of firm or plush in their terms. Um, and in terms of the, the change in the construction, the big thing that's changing here is you're adding that air support foam that we showed you earlier, that, that very unique memory foam with the, with the kind of circular cutouts in it. And that's gonna, again, come really in between some of those, those uh, comfort memory foams up on top and the, that firmer support core down below. So it's, it's basically gonna be almost like a transition layer uh, in, in how it's performing and functioning in the mattress. Um, so in terms of the overall feels of this mattress, I would say that the firm version, which is the one I'm on right now, um, probably brings us back to sort of what we would classify as a medium firm on our softness scale. Um, I might say though that it's a little softer than what you'd get on the CF2000, which we also classified as a medium firm and certainly softer than what you get on the CF1000, again, that we also classified as a medium firm. So sort of towards the softer end of that medium firm classification, but, but still in that, that bucket, which, which once again, medium firm means just to the firmer side 
of medium. Now in terms of cushioning depth, it's definitely gonna have a lot more cushioning depth and conformance than either of those other two medium firm options in this line. So you're gonna get much more of that hugged or cradled sensation from this. And you'll particularly notice that if you're on your side, because that's where you can really feel uh, the mattress's ability to, to conform to your curves. So um, now in terms of the uh, CF 4000 plush, uh, I would say that the feel of this one's gonna be the softest in this new iComfort lineup. I would classify this probably as a medium soft on our softness scale, which means just to the softer side of medium. And I would also say it has the most cushioning depth and conformance of any of the mattresses in this line. You really do kind of get into this mattress. And I think that has a lot to do with that air support foam layer where those, those cutouts allow that layer of form a layer of foam underneath these top memory foams to really conform to your curves as and the softness of those top layers allows you to access that air support foam a little bit more than you can on the uh, firm version of the CF 4000. So that's what really leads to the uh, added conformance here uh, on this particular model. And the only other thing I would add about this is that probably relative to all the other models in this lineup, it probably also has the most of that kind of ooey gooey memory feel uh, that many memory foam mattresses are known for. But you can even see as I sit here and then I get up, I mean, I think my, uh, the cutout of my seat is really kind of visible the longest uh, on this plush version of the CF 4000. So for those of you who are looking for that real slow melting into the bed sensation and really uh, like that a lot, you're gonna find probably the most of that in this new iComfort line on the CF 4000 plush. So we hope you found this to be a helpful overview of the brand new iComfort lineup from Serta. For more information about this line or for help in choosing the right mattress for you, go to goodbed.com. In the meantime, we thank you for watching and we really hope you sleep well.